This is a pencil. This is a book. This is a ball. This is a balloon. This is a kite. This is a jar. This is a cat. This is my home. So kids, when any person, place, or thing is near to us, we use this. Now, let's learn about that. That is my home. I am using that because home is far from me. If it would have been closer, we would have used this. That is my school. I am saying that because it is far from me. I would have said this if it would have been closer to me. That is my friend. I am using that because the friend is standing far from me. If he would have been standing near me, I would have said, This is my friend. Let's have some more examples. This is an apple tree. That is a mango tree. So, we use this for the nearer tree. And we use that for the farther tree. This is my pencil. That is your pencil. We use this for a nearer pencil. And that for a farther pencil. This is my home. And that is your home. Now, let's learn where we use these. These are my pens. These are my clothes. These are my balloons. These are my toys. These are my books. These are my erasers. So we use these for plural naming words that are near to us. Now, let's see where do we use those. Those are my pens. Those are my apples. Those are my clothes. Those are my toys. Those are my erasers. So we use those when we are talking about plurals that are far from us, when the objects are far from us. Okay, kids, today we learned where to use this, that, these, and those.